This is a quick video of my recent purchase from the Extreme from so-called steam engines. Um, what we have here is we have a Stirling, I hope I pronounce it right, so hot air engine and then I, we have two small cylinder engines, one oscillating cylinder and another one which is it's actually is quite interesting, it's a, it's a non-oscillating cylinder. Um, so obviously these were quite cheap compared to what you would normally pay for uh, you know model station stationary steam engines so I thought I'd just give it a go and then let's see how it works so that's the first model the Stirling engine um, I just put the ruler here just uh, so you have some idea about the dimensions it's uh, it comes on this nice plate uh, you have the burner which has a small magnet um, on the underside of it so it, it firmly attaches to the uh, to the base which is definitely required because as you will see in the videos uh, later uh, it it well especially if it's, it's running quite fast then it rattles around so it actually just jumps and then moves around in the table um, in the kit or in the package I actually got two of these burners uh, with these small caps um, for some reason the wick is really like a small wick so just by the engine moving and rattling around the wick eventually drops back into the to the spirit and then it will stop but anyway it's, it's yeah it's still working and functioning and as you can see the unit is made from a quarter inch um, elbow fitting you know with some glass domes and then probably some CNC or laser cut parts and then you can see the movement is like this so obviously probably this flywheel and these weights moving around um, caused uh, most of the vibration and the rattling but yeah that's what you would normally accept for these engines and uh, so the company is called Naya or where it's pronounced and they they sell a few of these on on the Elix stream and probably they are available somewhere in eBay as well so that would be the first one the next is this steam plant which comes with a tin burner uh, this boiler which again it's it's made of tin um, there are two outlets. I'm not sure maybe this is like the safety valve So if, if too much pressure builds up, maybe this uh, red plastic will fly off and let the steam off and you do have the um, Oscillating steam uh, cylinder steam engine um, you know with the weight and Either this one or the other one has microcosm uh, scribed into the into the flywheel and actually you can find these products on eBay as well I mean this uh, steam cylinder, so I'm guessing the the same company makes this and then sells it in many different places But so this one as you can see came as a kit um, uh, Sorry, it came as a product so I'll be, it, it was all assembled. I, I had nothing to do with it um, so I just uh, Taken this out of the box uh, fit in the water and the spirit and then it was running so, and uh, I can flip this one around. We can see that the so it's holding by one screw um, in the bottom. So actually, that this can be used for for another model if you need. There is one inlet for the steam, and the exhaust is just this small hole here. So it's just pissing around all um, everywhere. Uh, so you can't really run this indoors um, unless you have a big tray or something to 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 catch the uh, the water. But otherwise, it runs really nice and and fast. And the second second steam motor is this one, which I thought it would be just another version of the of the station of the oscillating engine or the oscillating cylinder. But actually, this is not oscillating. So the the valve gear must be you know somewhere in the shaft because you uh, so one of these ports is the exhaust the other one is a fresh steam and yeah it just does the job and uh, the base plate has some four holes uh, for mounting oh actually you can see the 
the, the brand logo etched into the flywheel. And uh, this definitely makes a louder sound, as you will see in the videos later on. And um, <clears throat> because the whole thing is metal and it, got, it gets quite hot, um, I just mounted in a piece of scrap wood which doesn't lay exactly flat in the table and that's why it is, I mean, it's, it's louder than, you know, what it would be like normally if you, if you have it mounted in, in properly and maybe just have a, uh, you know, piece of rubber feet under it. But uh, this definitely has a nicer sound, it's like a, like a puff puff kind of steam sound. But I'm quite impressed with the quality, I mean, it's, it's definitely running nice and uh, I've, I've used both of them a couple of times already before making this video. So let's see the actual running.
Thanks for watching.